Over. Maybe he had other things Maybe to do. he did. Maybe he had a hot know. date. Good you know? afternoon for us here in Central Texas. Lots of blue skies. Live look for the Bob Mills Furniture Sky Live weather camera. It is windy again. Look at these winds. We're clocking them at 20 miles an hour across Central Texas and temperatures again in the low 90s for the hottest afternoon so far this season. As we look at the radar, we've got action going on down in southwest Texas between San Antonio and Del Rio, south towards Eagle Pass. We've also got shower and thunderstorm activity from the Sherman Denson area on back over towards Texarkana, even uh, almost into Shreveport, Bossier City right now. Anticipate a little bit of action to brew up out here to the west. I was right on the edge of this high pressure ridge I was talking about, so there do seem to be a few spotty showers out towards Brownwood and Comanche, that area right now, at least showing up on radar. Highs this afternoon, 91 in Meridian, 91 in Hamilton, 91 in Gatesville, but look at this, Waco coming in at the big 94 degrees for an afternoon high today. A forecast is for fair skies, sultry evening for us, it'll slowly cool tonight, about 72 degrees. Our winds will be out of the southeast around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Your Tuesday, partly cloudy. We'll introduce a chance of some showers tomorrow afternoon, about 20%, but we're going to ramp those rain chances up into the evening and into Wednesday as well. Tomorrow's high because of the increasing cloud cover and moisture in place. I think we're going to be about 90 degrees for, for a high temperature and south winds around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Rain, yes, does look like it's going to be on the increased force, and it could be some rather heavy rainfall totals. We'll go anywhere from half an inch to maybe an inch and a tenth, possibly an inch and a quarter. Look at the rainfall we're talking about down here along the Gulf Coast. There's moisture down in the Gulf of Mexico that's going to be feeding back up towards the Gulf Coast, so heavier rains very likely down on the rice belt, the coastal plain of Texas. 94 now at the airport. Winds out of the south at uh, 15 miles an hour. 72 degrees the overnight low tonight in Waco. 75 in Austin. We're looking at shower activity on the increase across deep south Texas. Dry line out to the west of us tries to make its way towards us. Most of the action is going to stay down south for us for the time being, but it is going to be hot and humid, very summer-like across the area. Here's what I was talking about. We have a little low pressure area. It's not organized yet, not even a tropical storm. Far from being a hurricane, but there is a possibility it could strengthen in the next couple of days. We think this system is going to kind of drift back towards the north. It's not moving right now. It's stationary, but we think it's going to drift over the next 24 to 36 hours back towards the Matamoras, Brownsville area. And as it does that, then moisture is going to start wrapping around back in the Texas Gulf Coast. We could see a little bit of moisture from that, but it's going to be so far south that uh, that's that's just putting the cart before the horse to say we'll be getting some rain from that action. And we'll watch the forecast of the days to come and keep fine tuning it. How about that? Here's your Channel 6 seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Tonight's low 72, the high tomorrow 90, 20% chance of afternoon showers. Boom, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday, 40% on Thursday. We could be looking at maybe an inch and a half of rain before we get to the weekend. Speaking of the annual Pancake breakfast at Stillwell Retirement Home is coming up on Saturday morning. That's in Waco behind the big Target store. Avail yourself of some great breakfast and pancakes this weekend.